This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, are there any tricks to increase or enhance surface details on a model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. And this example file here has a lot of high resolution details. So let's say I have this model, and now I want to say 3D print this model out. But when I printed out, these details may work well for the screen, but they're not working well for that 3D print. Is there a way I can come through and enhance all the surface details on the mesh without having to go through and redo all those details? So I'm going to run through a process here that uses morph targets and layers that allow you to go through and enhance already sculpted details on a model. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to our tool palette here, and we just want to make sure our model has no masking visible. So I'm going to open up the mask palette here and just click clear, and I'll just clear the masking. The next thing we want to do is go to the layers palette, and we want to make sure we have no layers currently available on our model. If you have any layers visible here, you just want to make sure those are baked. So just come down here and click the Bake All button. Now the next thing we need to do is store a morph target. So in the tool palette, go to the morph target area here, and I'm just going to click Store Morph Target. Now when we click this button, what ZBrush is going to do, it's going to look at all the positions of the points or vertices on your model and then store those. So what we want to do next is we want to come through and we want to scrub all the high resolution details off of this mesh and just leave the base forms. So to do this quickly, I'm going to go back to the tool palette, I'm going to go to the deformation area here, and I'm going to locate the polish slider. Now the polish slider has this circle option over here, so I want to make sure this is a closed circle, not an open one. So I'm going to come over here and click to make that a closed circle. And then in the polish slider here, I want to type in 100 and then hit enter. Now when you activate the polish here, depending on how many polygons your model has, it could take a little while. Now after this process completes, you should end up with something like this. So you can see I still have the base forms of the model, but all those high resolution details have been scrubbed away. So now the next thing we need to do is go to the layer palette. So back to the tool palette, open up the layers area. And in here, we just want to create a new layer by clicking this button here. And you'll notice when this layer is created, it's already going to be placed into record mode. Now we just need to transfer that morph target to this layer. So we're going to go to the tool palette, navigate down to the morph target area, open this up, and now click switch. Now since we polished out those details, when we apply the morph target switch here, this is going to just capture the difference between the polished model and the high resolution detailed model, thus giving us a layer that just has the high resolution detail. So now that we have a layer that's storing all that high res information, now we can come over here and turn off record mode and now duplicate this layer. And this is now going to give us the effect of that information being applied twice. So it's giving us two times the strength of that high resolution detail. So you can see it has spiked all that high resolution information on the model. Now you can repeat this as many times as you want. So you can come over here and keep duplicating layers and this is going to keep increasing the amount of that high resolution detail. You can also come through and delete layers. So if that was too much, I can come through and delete this. And so bringing it back down. And then you can also change the amount in which one of these layers is generating that detail. So right now, this is at 100% for both these layers. So I can take this layer here and then maybe knock this down to say 0.5. And so now I'm just getting a little bit more of that detail enhancement. So a lot of flexibility you get out of this process by simply polishing out those high resolution details and then generating a new layer and applying those details back to your model. So to recap, what I did was I first just took my model that looked like this. I then went and stored a morph target. I then went to the deformation panel here. I made sure the polish option had its circle closed, not open. I typed in polish of 100, which went through and polished out the high resolution details of that mesh. And that gave me this result. Then I came to the layers palette here. I created a new layer. And then I went down to my morph target area again. I performed a switch, which transferred the high resolution detail back to my model. 
now giving me a layer that just consists of those high resolution parts. And now I can get out of record mode and now duplicate this layer and this will now enhance those details on my model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.